can not reach at, then uh, Bankai misses you. Smile. I will indeed. Alright, and then we got it. We got the set kicking off right away here, and yep, Poco Lamb coming off of a... I think it was in... I don't remember what the name of the Invitational was, but he certainly got second at it, losing to only Spargo. I think this was two... No, this was on Thursday. And so he's he's been riding high these past couple weeks with a lot of premier wins, including players like Esam and NVD uh, and more. But Bankai, you know... Baka's kind of been trying true, a like, former New York, but still New York in his whole in his soul. Oh yeah, I don't think the man could could leave New York even if he tried. You know, oh, deep yeah. down in his heart. Um, and we are having another ZSS. You know, we did just see Web play, but Bankai is gonna be different. Uh, you know, sort of forged in the offline days. He's going to be, usually, generally speaking, a lot more of an aggressive player, or at least not scared to make things happen. Uh, but at the same time, oh, I'm actually loving the spacing from Bonkai right now. I, uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. That was so, that was so cool. <laughs> I, oh I just, I, I didn't even realize he had pocketed the laser, but, um... Dang. Those pocket range is kind of insane. Like, he pocketed it through the Void Rocket, which is just... He didn't need to do it, but just guy gaining extra utilities. That's kind of what pocket is meant to do. This is, And I guess part of the reason oh. why we're seeing Bankai only use the uh, the single-shot laser instead of... Tar single-shot paralyzer instead of tar uh, charging it at all. But this is... Here we have a little bit of the struggle. How do you approach a villager with the lead? How do you approach Pokoland with the lead? More specifically, it's a Ooh. turnaround down smash. Yeah, Bankai starting to look for more of those kill moves. That was a fantastic grab. Grabbing with ZSS can feel so risky, especially considering that the reward isn't necessarily as high as other characters. But being able to at the very least scare your opponents from shielding. Yeah, like right now. Pokalam is like, I can shield. I'm safe. What's he going to do about it? And, you know, you're... Oh, what, 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 what was that? Okay. Oh, missed input. <laughs> it has or maybe to... just next level mind games. We'll see We'll see if he keeps doing it. Yeah, it'll be conditioning later because <laughs> now Bankai will want to put Pokalam on ledge. And that's it's all a, it's all a trap. Oh, see? well, get off there. Infinite baits. <laughs> um, I, One thing I wanted to dwell on that was actually pretty cool uh -oh. earlier is Pokalam put out the... <laughs> Nice SDI. Uh, Pokemon put out the um, the hide. Uh, sorry, the Lloyd Rocket. What? Oh, and he catches the Rollin'. Wow. Um, but he, it's something I saw him doing earlier with these big multi-hit attacks that ZSS has, and that meant that Bonkai was stuck in hit stun or like, like the hit lag for like a full two seconds as each hit has to have an extra you know time of hit lag while Pokemon just allows himself to reposition it just however he sees fit. Alright, but Bankai is really showing off his advantage state right now. Tallying up 98. 98 Ooh. in a blink of an eye, excuse me. But not not finishing his food quite yet. And he's allowed, he got, Pokalam Poke found himself a way back to neutral and can start using a lot of the, a lot of the more neutral based tools of Villager instead of trying to rely on Nair. Safe on parry, everybody. That was... That was fantastic, reacting to the parry, knowing that he had enough advantage. And now what was looking like a pretty brutal match for Bankai, he, okay, doesn't have the lead anymore, but definitely this is the sort of thing where Pokalam, despite all of his recent successes, he's gotta be shaking in his boots. I, I thought he would drop the tree on him. But perhaps uh, he didn't did think he had enough time. Did he have a second time. axe? I don't think he had a second Yeah, no, that, tr that tree has one chop in it, and well, it's gone now. It possibly could have been uh, actually a misinfo where he was hoping to get the trade. But punishing startup is kind of the key to a lot of this, uh, a lot of this uh, zoning that Pokemon has been doing. And Bankai not looking to do to do anything too risky, but those up smashes are really a, such a good deterrent. Even when they whiff, they make Bankai reconsider flip jumping in. But that's gonna end the game. This is the reason he was doing those up smashes. But when you start to do anything else, Bankai recognized the pattern and punished accordingly. Like, 
A whiffed up I, smash. I, don't jump in. Don't jump in. Stop doing that. Ooh, yeah, wait, honestly, okay. this... Yeah, he was... Was he trying to just run away right there? He got hit by it, and Bonkai just punishing. Really, what I think helped Bonkai win that game was just always so good the use of the zare from zss you know uh recently uh zss did get her neutral or nerfed and it feels like bankai has already adjusted to that already understood nair is not nearly as safe as it used to be and maybe that's you know he would use zare more in this matchup anyway but like he's he, that's his main spacing tool and he's able to just constantly be at the perfect range where not only is he able to put on pressure but as soon as poker lamb thinks he has an opening he's there to counterattack with an up b with a forward air just really just the pressure from mid-range is exquisite and i'm, I'm very curious to see what adjustments poker lamb is going to make because he's a fantastic player and I, definitely he's not whatever trick you have if it's working against him you can't be too reliant on it because he's gonna he has so many tricks up his sleeve and just a solid player overall so we'll let's see how poco lamb is going to adjust here i mean he seems to have already he seems to have identified his counterplay right from the moment that he got to pick a stage kalos while a phenomenal like while well, phenomenal stage for ZSS in a lot of ways, like giving her a wall jump, giving her like access to just like utilizing these platforms to air camp, uh, they do the same thing for Pokerlam. And what part of the problem was that he felt, at least in the last game, was he felt like the need to cover space with these up smashes, with these uh, slingshots, thanks to PS2 being a little bit more enclosed. Kalos doesn't have that problem, so maybe he can try. Maybe he can be a little bit more zone heavy on this stage. But Bankai's always making sure to be just close enough with these oh, airs, with these plasma whips. So did he release the pocket there? I think he released the laser, and Bankai actually saw, just beat it out with the side B. Right now, Bankai looking really good, and definitely Pokalam is one of the people who's favored. I would not be surprised if he won today. And. As it stands, Bankai is up an entire stock as well as being up a game. It's This could be a pretty huge upset, especially how Bankai doesn't enter many Wi-Fi events, but he's kind of poking at where Pokelam hurts the most, punishing a lot of the a slower startup on a okay yep wi-fi <laughs> okay well, that was like that reminds me of dragon ball z when someone does like five backflips to create some distance what are you doing gaining distance why <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay oh. these down airs are something crazy because he's he's very much assured that pokelam wants to punish me when i use my double jump but luckily, I have this immediate air DP just to get out of space and get out of get out of dodge. Wow, he did. Oh, okay. I was been upset if he died. <laughs> I, I that might have been some questionable di, but yeah, he's he ended up living it. I, if he died at 40 from that, that would have been a little bit on the um. It's like wait a minute, Bankai. At least a six on the upset a meter. But Good regardless. Jump, yeah. Oh, honestly, one of the adjustments that Pokelam seems to be making, oh, a lot more aggressive. Look at the way he's throwing out neutral air, the way that he's actually trying to get into Bankai's face. Yeah, he looks like he's trying to punish a lot more startup of these of these jumps that Zeus has been doing and make uh, make Bankai reconsider how he's using the flip jump to punish, uh, to punish or at the very least get in on uh, Pokelam pulling out things like Lloyd Rocket as he's fought himself back from a pretty solid lead. Thank you, Flaff NYC, for that 50 cent coupon. Ooh, okay, there, finally, Pokelam managing to get the lead back. 133% on him, though, and he is off stage. <gasps> <Whoa. laughs> Honestly, I like that aggression. Trying to go deep, trying to instill some fear in him, because Bankai, this is the sort of thing where if he manages to take the stock right away, he could very easily take this game. But the longer this lasts, where you have a stock deficit against a villager of Pokalam's caliber. Look at that, 50% pretty much already tacked on. And yeah, he's fishing for those up smashes, but Pokalam's DI not giving him a chance. Yeah, he's starting to swing wildly now, trying swinging where he thinks Pokalam is gonna be. Pokalam's not giving him anything. He's just sitting in shield, holding steady, holding firm. 
and one of the few things that ZSS can do at this percent is look for perhaps up throw to kill, which on Kalos isn't going to kill for maybe another 20%. Oh, oh tragedy. Yeah, like you said, their up throw is not enough. And now 175%, 95, almost 100 mark being reached. And that should... Okay, D gonna actually go for a uh, a more quick punish with the back throw. Maybe he could have had enough time for a forward smash, but... There it is. Oh, even finally. with proper DI. Okay, but this is gonna be a long way to go. But, you know, while Nair does have two or two or three extra frames of lag on it, it still combos into flip kick at around 40 so this isn't exactly safe you just need and, to be very careful with your poker land yeah and bankai is definitely yeah you're seeing him start to throw out these neutral airs a little bit more okay there it is great recognition that's something that i don't think we've seen poker land really do drop that bowling ball from the platform but uh holds on to it in his pocket proverbial proverbially not his literal pocket uh to bust out there at the end just prevent Bankai from getting some kind of mystery, miracle comeback. It's interesting to see how much the... Like, it's it's minus two to minus four, which isn't crazy. Like, it, it's two extra frames. It still is ridiculously safe. But, like, the Nair nerf starts to... It's starting to show how much it matters a little bit. Like, just being able to throw out something that's so quick and so safe that can lead to either a lot of damage or even death. Take that off the table, even slightly. Threatens how much comeback factor that ZSS has at any given moment. And Pokemon really taking advantage of that. He doesn't have, he doesn't have to worry about neutral air being this impervious button on his shield. Maybe he could neutral air out of it. Maybe he can throw out things to catch, uh, to catch Bankai uh, being a little bit too aggressive. I do think we're not going back to Kalos. No, it is PS2. But this is going right. to be... This, this game gonna, one was on PS2, correct? Yes. Uh, it's going to be adaptation for adaptation. How does po how does Pokelam consider what went wrong on PS2 and why do you let him go back there? He must have f figured out something that is unrelated to stage. It's a... Hey, Thank you, Teapot. Ooh. Oh my god, look at this corner pressure. Bunkai getting hit by the Lloyd, though, not letting him uh, continue that string. And now Pokalam, though, still having taken the brunt of the damage. Bunkai's dancing around him. 55%, and this is the sort of... He could get, like, a Nair to flip kick. Oh, probably now he might be out of range, but nonetheless, Ooh, just pressure. throwing out these moves. Pokemon playing it safe, though. He's going to flip kick over it just to make sure he doesn't have to deal with the three. While well, if there's anything that ZSS can be uh, can be benefited of, it's not having to play around certain ledge trapping setups. But without that flip kick, she's so susceptible to to things like bowling ball. And yeah, now, now Bon Bankai is put in the same spot. How do you approach a Pokelam who's super content to do this? Ooh, that down air, I think he was hoping for the landing hitbox to clip him. And in the end, he's... Oh, just stop. <laughs> That's cute. Just just take a breather, you know. She she do be lying on the ground, she, hard to yeah, hit. Yeah, no, and I mean, listen, she was doing all sorts of flips and stuff. Like, definitely she deserved to take a bit of a rest, right? Oh, my... All of this damage. That was, like, damage. 20%. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, to the left. To the to the left to the right. These flip jumps are making, are making at the very least, their money's worth, but Pokemon kind of showing that immediate counterplay. It's like, all right, if you're just going to mash flip jump, I'll hold shield and punish out of shield, like Villager can do. Nearly missing that one edge guard, but cleaning it up yet again. Honestly, I think that that's always a really... When, when, you, um, when you go off stage like that, you know, exert all this pressure, and then the opponent makes it back... The one thing you can do, though, is if you are a character that has a very quick way to get back on stage and then continue it, you kind of force them into the timing, you know? If they know that you're about to get back up and they're like, oh, now is my chance, then you have enough time to, say, throw out uh, a ZSS side B. Like, that was pretty much definitely the timing that Pokelam was going to get off the ledge just because of all the pressure that had been exerted on him when uh, Bankai went off stage. I waited out the Lloyd Rocket just so he could 
get the throw armor straight through it. He's really looking for some of these setups by going off and coming back on, uh, hunting for back airs and even flip jumps. Yeah, not not going to be able That's to huge. Might be anything. Oh! There. That axe probably would have killed if it had connected, but villager not. You know, he has all these, the you know these wonderful projectiles and all that, but not great movement speed, and that kind of showed right there. God, this tree has been just so in the way of what Bankai wants to do in so many instances. It just, it stuffs out, it stuffs out raw movement by just being there, and can kill. The movement. Did you see that slick movement with the watering can? Very, like, it's not very often you think of the watering can as a movement option, but Okalan there showing just how he's able to use it to maneuver around the opponent and put on a hitbox by making the tree grow. Without rage, that's not quite enough to actually kill. And now Bankai once again struggling to find a way to end this stock while he, while Pokalam's off stage. It's, it's going to start taking a little bit of aggression from Bankai, especially if he... No. <laughs> oh, tragedy. And another one. Oh, this might be it, though. Okay. Doesn't fall out of that one. We're having a last stock between these two. Game three. Definitely a solid lead for Pokalam here, but... As we've already witnessed several times over, he should not be comfortable with that le lead yet at all. Yeah, but neither should Bankai. Like, this is far from assured. Like, one opening can get your damage. Uh, po Pokerline has shown off his, some amazing escapability throughout this set. Yep, it's still safe. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Oh, the bravery. Very, very narrow, uh, ne very narrow window to, to climb with that. But he, he got it going. 20% now. This is, uh, it's not uneven, but he needs to get some crazy advantage state to really even up this percent. Or if he can pin Pokemon in the right spot, then Nair Flip Kick is still, could be on the table. A couple great parries to get, at the very least, get back to center. Pokemon also, though, Look at, like, I like how Bankai was so aggressive at the beginning of this game, but now he realizes, you know, he's in a bit of a tricky spot, and it shows that he is able to play patient. He is able to pick his moments, but Pokalam not letting those moments come at all. 136%, it's been growing ever more. Up smash at this point would kill from Villager. Oh, that neutral are sending him way off stage. He didn't have a jump, but he did have the flip jump, and now he doesn't have that. <laughs> it's... Wait a minute. Just no. Be, okay. Oh, okay. He, 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 we do be mashing. We do be mashing. Wow, really? Okay. He, th he didn't show it at all. At no point in that game did he display the grab potential. Pokelam holding on to it. That's something that we've seen him do multiple times in this set alone. Just not showing all of his cards on the table until he's just ready for it. When the opponent finally forgets about the fact that he does have that option. Yeah, lands on the ground here. Forced to shield because he's so scared of that tree and goes in there. I don't even, I don't think any DI probably would have saved him at that point. 173. Yeah, yeah that's, anyway. That's rough. That was a real nail biter of a set. Great stuff to both players though, but Pokelem managing to squeak on by. Going to be moving on in the winner's bracket.